was there an agreed upon tracking mechanism with respect to his performance or uh, you never got into it you or uh, uh, your wife never got into it right yeah. i think the tracking mechanism supervision mechanism somebody has to do it you are correct uh, was it being done by the uh, parent the answer is no because i think we have very good teachers like you your team and there were local teachers uh, who where shubhan used to go but overall i used to talk to him and tell kitna uh, how much is the portion happening whether the physics how many this is there is it over do you so a broader perspective of understanding what's happening because you know do you, do i know physics do i know chemistry answer is i mean it's very difficult to remember they there but i we used to talk to him uh, what is the exam how many chapters are they covering in this exam he used to say 12 chapters you know so we are, used to show he was he used to ask some question the answer is to say oh my god i don't know so yeah. i think go back to to your teacher so i think uh, just talking to him uh, was important you will have uh, as a parent i think it's important uh, i'm sure every parent is, is doing it that they have to show interest in what he is doing i i want to tell our audience uh, they know about it already i'm sure shubhan uh, uh, went to classes to individual teachers uh, in uh, in nagpur i think uh, kothari ma'am uh, for biology then uh, physics vankede ma'am and chemistry pradhan ma'am he practiced mcqs from our platform around 25000 of them he wrote around 90 plus mock tests so in one particular mock test uh, what i would typically do is someone is scoring crazily high i would call them up and warn their yeah. parent i i let me tell you tell that incident i i uh, suddenly uh, shubhan comes and tells me that uh, there is there is a neat prep thing which we uh, we have enrolled and i had enrolled in i remember that I said the one of the teachers and wants to talk to you, to the parent i said let's let's do it so first of all if something happens uh, uh, so uh, you have as a as a father or as a mother you have to be immediately be ready so i said let, let's talk and then i remember talking to you and you said that uh, uh, he's doing pretty okay so just go around for the next exam sit with him uh, i said why do you want me to do that so he said whether to just check whether he's copying or not so whether he's sincere i said wow that that's commitment that's amazing uh, thing from from a from a teacher's perspective coming and i i told him yes that makes sense uh, and i i was around i didn't sit with him uh, uh, but uh, i think that's very important uh, way of looking at how does the kid perform how did the how does the kid solve so yes i think uh, uh, as as a father and as as a mother you should be ready with uh, all the uh, i mean you should be aware what exactly is happening because it's a process of almost 2 years to and half years that's important so that's extraordinary uh, in fact i'll tell you uh, uh, dr uh, sen gupta uh, we had a student who's who's now senior of uh, shubhan in aims delhi his name was shamadi phaldar he's from uh, a district called bankuda in west bengal he had registered by uh, his sister's name induja haldar and induja haldar would kill it every time and i was no, never able to talk to her somehow the number was not right and uh, it would always be like i hope uh, she is not uh, cheating herself i did not even know it's it's not a girl it's a boy but uh, one reason why we started our classroom test series now it's uh, in more than 225 centers across india in fact shubhan told uh, pradhan ma'am in nagpur that we should have a classroom test series uh, location at at her academy one of the reason was this we would have situations it did not happen in shubhan's case i was genuinely concerned that's why i called uh despite being owner of this organization i have bunch of things to do but this would happen every year to us students uh, uh, parents would call after neat exam sir uh, my kid was scoring 615 year exam he is getting 200 in neat exam i would ask them uh, were you sitting with him while he was writing the exam no sir husband and wife both are working right kids are under immense pressure uh, uh, the expectation from parents even though they might not say it is in their eyes in the, it is in their demeanor right and uh, rather than fighting with them every day he would rather postpone that fight for once when the neat exam would happen i have my own hospital i am i am a doctor my wife is also a doctor so we can be very busy so being busy is all relative but uh, what i will distinctly like to tell you that i volunteered uh, dropping and picking up shubhan every day what does it mean it means that uh, so in 11th suddenly he he, he was he, uh, his uh, friends started driving uh, two wheelers so he tells me one day sir baba can i go by two wheeler i said absolutely yes 
So he got a two wheeler, uh, electric EV, uh, where I think they get to get a, uh, they, they are allowed to do it. So he used to go for six months, seven months. Then one day uh, I realized that uh, it was too much of bothering. I said, we want you to drop you. Yes. Now. So he, we, we had, you, you have to give that option, whatever they want. But from that day morning, five o'clock, I used to drop him. 8.30, I used to pick him up. Again, 11.30, I used to drop him. So if I'm in Nagpur, uh, I used to travel also. It was me who is dropping. What was the advantage? Uh, at that moment, in the car, for that five minutes, you can talk to them. And uh, so it's important to push. And I, I'm happy that it has rewarded us very well. Uh, but the essence is, you as a parent, uh, also we will have to sacrifice a lot. So to get up at five o'clock with him, do I have to do a late night party? The answer is no. So, but social obligations are important. You have to go. But yes, we have to we used to come back at 10 o'clock, 10 30 and be around. So I think it sacrifices, it's not sacrifice. I believe that it is an investment you are doing. So in this investments help. Yeah. What in your mind were three biggest strengths uh, of Shabana? Uh he, he's very focused, uh, very hardworking. And third is uh, he can uh, he can uh, immediately uh, cut unnecessary things. So that is indirectly focused. So I think hardworking focus and, and he listens. So if you tell him, yeah, he listens. He's, he's receptive, always receptive. One important thing, Dr. Sen Gupta, in this preparation, uh, nature of the exam, and for that matter, uh, in any academic pursuit or any serious pursuit is, for how long in, in one sitting you can focus yourself on the task at hand? Uh, what was the sitting capacity of Shubhan? Uh, one hour, two hour, three hour, uh, where he would be able to sit at a place and be focused at the task at hand? I think any, uh, 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 so initially he started, he was there like two hours, he used to take a break, move around, eat something and again two hours. But that thing increased in the later part of, of, his, uh, uh, of his training. Uh, last six months he used to sit for hours together. The reason is uh, you have to cut unnecessary things. That unnecessary thing is mobile, TVs, music, loud noise. Uh, uh, I mean, that that is needed because NEET is not only about 11th and 12th and the exam. You are getting into a medical professional. Let's say you become a surgeon. So I think this is for the kids and for, for also the parents. So if you are getting, uh, you, you get an admission in NEET, you get a good institution. Subsequently, you become a surgeon. A surgery lasts for seven hours. Yeah, yeah. So they have said, to have I, crazy I, amount I, of stamina, sir. Yeah, so it is not only about 11, 12th or exam. It's about what you are trying. Are you ready? So this education, this 11, 12th and exam gives you a training about your life. So if you are working in a casualty for 12 hours, are you ready to do it? Or do you want to two hours surgery karke, you would like to go out and see a football match and come back? That won't do. You cannot, you cannot do that. So I think it's, you, I mean, I think it's about every field and medical field is a phenomenally uh, demanding profession. People say it's a noble profession. Yes, of course. But it is demanding. Uh, are you ready for it? You ask yourself. The kid has to ask himself. The parent has to ask their kid. Are you ready? If you're ready, go for it. If you're not ready, it's okay. I mean, you can also be an architect. You can also be anything. But I, I remember uh, uh, it's important that... Uh, the training. Uh, so you have to always look at what you are getting into. That's the part. Dr. Sengut, a couple more questions. Uh, uh, the dinner time was the time when all of you would sit and uh, and discuss things. What conversation would, would happen in dinner time? Nothing stressful. It has to be all. So you, at the dinner time, you tell about yourself, what you did. I did this much. I operated this. I did this. Uh, Ratsi used to talk about herself. So they are also curious. So maybe that is the way they come out of that. They get a break from their physics and chemistry question. And then you subtly ask, how is it? How, how When is your next exam? What time you want me to get you up, wake you up? So there are times when we had to wake him up. So if he's waking up at 5.15, you have to get up at 5 o'clock. So those things are, are mandatory. I think we do a lot of eating things at home, whatever he or she used to like. And I think every person, every parent do it. But the point is, you have to be at home when they are there. That's that's the point. So somebody has ever... to... yeah, go ahead. Somebody has to be at home when they are there. That that's the key. That's the key. 
did you ever see him stressed after a mock test some specific chapter where he was struggling with or some other reason and uh, give us that specific instance if you can remember and when you would see him stressed or demotivated what would you do yeah i think one of the important things i i distinctly remember one exam he came and uh, he didn't see the next page so he palta any and the time went off so i told him that oh this has happened fine but the remember it has it is a good part is it has happened now not at the final exam so this is the learning thing so uh, 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 i think he used to whatever mistakes he used to do it uh, i think he must have shared with you he used to write it down and and prepare also so i think learning from mistakes is what is key but uh, I, I, do i remember any distinct things uh, see he, he it was uh, very self motivated uh, uh, his friends were very much helping he had a bunch of i think 10 15 kids all has all have got good admissions everybody has performed very well another key is you have to talk ask him about his friends show that you are interested in knowing what are they are doing and that's fun i mean i mean so you have to show interest in his life i think that that's that's the key yeah uh, uh final uh, three top advices for uh, parents who are uh, watching this interview and uh, then we'll wrap it up and uh, thank you so much for uh, so much time you have given yeah i think first is uh, for the parents it's important you be around don't bring your stresses at home be happy with them i know everybody has lot of stress uh, second don't have expectations keep on encouraging them keep on encouraging every step small small steps are important uh, and the third thing is uh, i think uh, 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 be be very vigilant in what others are also doing in the sense for example neat prep they are coming out with something interesting be vigilant if if your son tells you that this is available okay give it to him if your son tells that this is an questionnaire which i want to have it give it to them and be around be be uh, be with them every step whatever the kid is taking you should be aware of them of course absolutely don't give them to encourage them and if they have highs don't uh, pamper them if they have lows be with them because i think it is a it is a marathon and 2 uh, years is a marathon and refueling is a key because marathon you cannot run uh, in like one one uh, in in one hour it has to be refueling so you have to refuel them with lot of love and compassion and happiness that's the key extraordinary thank you so much dr sam gupta it was uh, absolutely wonderful talking to you so nice perfect and all the best i think you guys are doing great i think you you are you are shaping lot of good lives